a recently released 2022 World Happiness Report ranks South Africa 91 out of 146 countries. Mauritius, Ivory Coast and even war-torn Libya faring better than our rainbow nation. Why? To help us unpack the findings, we're joined now by Life Masters CEO Tony DeVale. That's the big question, Tony. I mean, many of us will say we can list a whole litany of reasons for why we rank so low on that happiness index. But why is South Africa so incredibly unhappy? Morning, Michelle. Thanks for this opportunity. I think for me, being involved in the happiness industry for most of my life, this isn't a report card of the individual, of the people of our country. It's a report card for our leadership. Mm. Because most people are typically reactive, habitually based. They do the same old, same old every day. They get out of bed. They do their same things. But the conditions and the context around us are the things that change. And then we are reacting to those things. Mm. And so the people that we have, people is the very first level of how we show up in the world. The right mindset, a growth-optimized mindset is a good foundation, but none of our people are taught this kind of skill. Our relationships, there's conflict in our relationships. When we do our team building and leadership development, we have hugely conflicted workspaces and, and low trust levels. And so this is the reaction to the situation. But the worst is, a while ago we were 76. We're now 91 and we're moving in the wrong direction. Yeah. And actually, what you're saying there, Tony, about it being a reflection of the leadership of our country and not the individual. In fact, my co-anchor, uh, Benjamin Lashoro, he, when I asked him how he would rank our country, said we would rank maybe, a hundred, maybe 20th out of yes. 146. Because that is, that's who South Africans are, isn't it? We're optimistic yes. people in the face of serious challenges. We're, we're optimistic, we're resilient, mm. we are strong. We know our pro-social behavior during this COVID process, where people have volunteered and given donations and helped strangers, we're great. Around the world, people want South Africans. But the conditions and the context that we find ourselves in, we've just numbed out. And you were talking about Libya and those places. Do you know that we have more rapes and murders and deaths in our country than war-torn Ukraine on a daily basis? So for me, we, we are doing well in a toxic content, in a to toxic, toxic kind of environment. Sure. That is some uh, serious context that you're giving us there, uh, Tony, to the kinds of challenges that we face in our country. Let me ask you this. For the countries who rank higher up in terms of happiness, yes. what are they doing right? Um, I think number one is there's trust. There's high trust in the governments, the leadership, the police departments. There's uh, places like Finland, the, the highest levels. They have free education, free medical. And it's not that we don't have the resources to give our people free education, free medical and free internet. We just, those resources are squandered and removed by the trillions from our system. They they have a context where they have higher levels of freedom, whereas we're getting locked down like some countries. We have longer um, timelines of life quality and, and, and expectancy. Income levels are higher. You know, you look at our youth um, unemployment levels. We're doing coaching for youth right now. And the, the, the levels are crazy. And so without hope, people struggle. And I think that's part of the process. I was looking at the scores of how people, how happy are people with the democracy. And we're down at the levels of like, I think it was South Africa here was at 64% are, are unhappy and 35% are, are happy. So for me, we just have a very divisive environment because it's people first, mindset, attitude. And when we wake you up, we can give you a growth-optimized mindset. We can build your adept agility, and you can be happier even in a toxic environment. Mm. I want to talk more about that growth-optimized mindset that you, that you mentioned. Tony, I wonder for context whether it's important to also point out that this survey is a ranking based on a three-year average. So it's between yes. 2019 and 2021. I mean, the fact that we've also been through a pandemic will, sh will surely also weigh in on the, the results that we've received in South Africa. We, but that's once again, it's the conditions and the context. 
you know, even our country, all the countries around the world have gone through the pandemic. Mm. They still manage to be high, but the average shows the top 10 are typically the same countries for the last 5, 10, 15 years. Whereas we, over the last years, we're starting to progress towards the back end of the line. Whereas we were a kind of a first world country. When if you look at the technology, the opportunity, the resources we have, we should be way, way better. I just believe that we've got incredible opportunity that has been squandered. We have amazing people, but good people in a bad space, good people in a bad culture, within weeks, they go back to zero. Their engagement is broken. So we have people. Our relationships need to be improved. But then it's the leadership and the culture that are the, the containers that control the reactivity of the mindset of the people. Even good people with bad leadership and bad culture will eventually check out and say, I'm out of here. Mm. The, the, the growth optimized mindset that you talk about, I'm, I'm just reading an article by uh, Howard Feldman and he uh, writes about uh, Viktor Frankl um, in his book, In Man's Search for Meaning. Uh, mm. Viktor Frankl, for, for some context here, was a Jewish psychologist who endured persecution um, in Hitler's Europe. But he talks about how even in the worst of circumstances, provided there is uh, reason, provided there is purpose, we are still able to find happiness and to achieve joy. Is that a, 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 a leap that we are finding difficult to make here in South Africa? I think part of our challenge is we are hedonistic and we chase this happiness, which is a selfish focus for me. But where there's meaning, because you can have a happy life or a meaningful life, and meaningful life doesn't mean it's easy. But to have a happy, meaningful life is, I think, the holy grail. Mm. The challenge that we have is in our research on resilience and adaptability, it's a very small percentage of people who are naturally high resilience, high growth mindset. The, the schooling, the environment, the, the conditions people are brought up under does not build that, those values, that perspectives, that identity inherently into people. And so that's part of the work that we do in Life Masters is, is shifting how we see ourselves the inner voice to be more constructive and positive and enabling. And that's the part of the thing is people performance enablement is a leadership issue, but also self-development, self-mastery, self-awareness, emotional intelligence are vital components. Very, I think the market for self-development is about 10% of the, of the market. What's happening to the other 90%? They're just living reactive based on their past programming. Yeah, yeah. And, and I want to actually just um, conclude our interview with this quote from this article by Herbert Feldman. And he talks about, as you said as well, Tony, that this is not a reflection of the people of South Africa, but rather of the government of our country. And he, he also in this article talks about, you know, the happiness that the average South African has just to, to have the lights on, to be at a traffic light that's working, to have running water on any given day. He says, let's continue to do what we do best, and that is help each other out laugh when the opportunity presents, make sure we try and live with purpose and with joy despite the circumstances. And as we round off um, our conversation this morning, Tony, um, who is the happiest country? Which is the happiest country on this list? Finland, number one. Finland. Wow. All right. Interesting perspective for us there. Tony DeVale is the CEO of Life Masters. Thanks very much indeed for that incredibly insightful discussion. Uh, 146 countries, South Africa ranking 91st in terms of happiness. Uh, 